The Olympic Trials. CBS 13 Sports Director Marshall Harris is live with a marathon runner who's headed to Atlanta to try and snag a spot on the U.S. Olympic team. How cool is this? Uh, it's, it's pretty cool, guys. It's pretty cool that, you know, like you said, by day, he's a chemistry and physics teacher, Nathan Kwan. And Nathan, you're going to start us out with a physics lesson. T tell me what I'm doing here with this bowling ball. Well, you've got a bowling ball here, and you're going to... Let it drop, and you know oh, you might think it might come back and hit you, but luckily <laughs> it'll lose enough energy where it won't reach as high uh, where it started, so you should be safe. Let okay, I'm putting a lot on the line, guys. So okay. uh, oh, this can be let's go. Marshall. If it comes back all the way, I'm in trouble. Ah! Okay, we're good. Oh! We're good. Yeah, that that, that was a lot. I know, <laughs> uh, Nathan. Good. How in the world did you become Isaac Newton. a marathoner <laughs> who's now qualified for the Olympic trials? It seems like a crazy story. You don't even have a coach. You just decide to, to run on your own and say, I, I think I could do this. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's basically it. Um, I just had this idea that perhaps I could, uh, you know, try to qualify for the, the trials. I was better at the longer stuff, so the marathon seemed like a good, uh, good fit. But yeah, I just kept running and got a little faster and faster and then eventually decided, well, maybe I'm fast enough to, to do this thing and and it all worked out once I qualified, I think, last October. All right, so you qualified last October. You ran a half marathon. What pace did you have to hit to qualify for the Olympics? Yeah, for the half marathon, it's a 64-minute half marathon, which is about a 4.52 per mile. Oh, Whoa. yeah, 4.52. Yeah, <laughs> under five minutes to run a mile. That, that sounds, that sounds that's highly do doable. Do that on a moped? Uh, can, can, we, can, we, can we talk a little bit about what, what exactly you're expecting uh, in Atlanta and are you expecting to actually, you know, make the Olympic team? Uh, expectations. Um, I just, uh, I'm really glad to be there. Uh, it's kind of the first step is just to make this race, and then perhaps in the next four years, kind of ramp up my training. Um, but I, there's, you know, there's always, if I'm in the race, there's a chance. Uh, I think it's a quote. It's like, you know, someone says, "Is, it, is there a chance?" Uh, it's a low chance, and they say, you know. So you're saying there's a chance. Well, yeah, there's a chance. Um, but, you know, some of these guys would have to literally break their legs for me to oh, qualify. Oh, okay, just but break I'm, their legs. I'm in it, so I'm happy. We want to show you one more thing, a chemistry lesson, since we already gave you a physics lesson. Uh, tell me what you're doing here now. Um, so in chemistry, uh, we're going to be looking at some bottle rockets. So safety first, put my goggles on. Um, we've just got an ordinary two-liter soda bottle here. Um, it's been sitting with some ethanol. Uh, in the bottle, if you give it a good shake, kind of coat all the sides, and we're going to dump out the excess ethanol right now. And if you light the ethanol on fire, just like if you light drinking alcohol on fire, then uh, it should ignite, and we can send the bottle flying. So we'll try and get should that going. Um, we'll see if it works. Glasses. Might not right now. But this is what they'll be doing in their chemistry class. So. Just eventually, sorry, grab my matchbox. Um, so yeah, we'll see if it works. Uh, might be loud, might not be. But we'll Let's find, find out together. Fire Guys, we send it back to you. Studio! Oh, oh. There's definitely a fire in the hole. Whoa. The bottle rocket <laughs> moving about as fast as Nathan Explosion. Kwan. Again, going for an Olympic spot Saturday in Atlanta, guys. Awesome. Wow. Hi, Marshall. Hey, kids, don't try that at home. Make sure you have a physics teacher with you.